A new Netflix series is out today called Cursed. It's based on the book by Thomas Wheeler. And after our first episode, it's starting to feel like this is sort of a spin on the uh, King Arthur, Sword in the Stone, that, that whole period of time. Uh, it's definitely got some vast differences and it has some very interesting elements. Um, you know, we have like this, this group, the paladins, and they're like the, the mad, the mad priests running around trying to eradicate witchcraft and fae from the land. You know, we meet, we meet the character of Arthur. He's kind of this bard slash knight slash you don't really quite know what he is. Uh, our main character is a young girl named Nimue who over the course of the first episode uh, comes into possession of the sword of power. You know, we even have that little, that little homage to her getting the sword stuck in the stone and pulling, pulling the sword out of the stone. Uh, not quite sure where this whole story is going, which I like. Uh, we have some, some, just some cool elements like uh, Merlin, like everybody knows Merlin the great wizard. Well, what if he was half Merlin, half Jack Sparrow? You know, he's kind of the drunken, drunken wizard. He maybe has lost his powers and doesn't, doesn't quite know what's going on. Is drinking all the time. Uh, it's just kind of like a character you're, you're like, okay, I don't quite know what's going on here, but I kind of want to know more. I kind of want to see a little bit more of the, of this Merlin, uh, you know, Uther, Uther is the dragon, and I believe in all the Arthur tales, Uther is the king before Arthur, but in, in many of the stories, uh, Arthur is Uther's son, I believe, uh, and, and I don't think that's the case here, but could be, you never know. Um, yeah, we have, we have a lot of fae and, and some witchcraft. That seems interesting and very much did not give us a huge indication on how all of that works. You know, right away we see Nimue get mad after someone kills a, a baby deer in, in the forest. And, you know, she manipulates all the wood to basically uh, wrap around the guy and start choking him. But then other points in, in the series, like her whole village is dying and she's not able to do anything besides get some glowy green green veins going on her neck so that was that was a little bit of a head scratcher you know watching a deer die is enough for you to go ballistic with your powers watching your mother die isn't uh so that that was a, that was a little bit strange but you know i just feel like that's something we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit more about as the series goes on um yeah it was a uh, quite a bit to quite a bit to go through for that first episode you know we meet the characters Nimue gets chosen as the summoner she runs runs away to get away from her responsibilities comes back and the village is under attack everyone she knows has basically been killed we don't know who survived uh uh, if did her sister survive did I think that I can't remember if the what the young boy's name was I think he was called squirrel once or squirt I don't really know but it, maybe he maybe he survived you know we had Arthur kind of just get ditched somewhere in the woods so he's probably going to come back into it but uh, yeah overall uh, definitely some potential here for this show don't quite know where it's gonna go. We saw like little little flashes into the future, shots of the sword, shots of Nimue drowning. You know, we had that opening scene of, of her in the water filled with arrows, uh, bleeding out and drowning. A uh, little, little bit of foreshadowing and uh, some, some little snippets that will maybe will make a little more sense as we go on. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it for episode one. Definitely liking the potential here. And I'm going to go back and uh, jump back into this series. All right, that is it for now. And we will see you all very soon.